And McSally just hasn't said a lot about this impeachment inquiry, even though she signed a resolution condemning it. So we asked her today if she would accept assistance or help from a foreign government to help her politically. I wanted to ask you with this, uh, you know, impeachment proceedings moving along. Um, yeah, come on, Dennis. Want... Arizona Senator Martha McSally clearly frustrated with questions about impeachment just one day after the Democratic-led House voted to take the process to the next phase. The yeas are 232. The nays are 196. Since House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced last month that Democrats would begin an impeachment investigation, Senator McSally has declined to say if she thought it was appropriate for the president to ask a foreign country to dig up dirt on a political rival. Today's hearing will provide an opportunity uh, for us to hear testimony on Alzheimer's and other cognitive diseases. After holding a congressional field hearing in Scottsdale this morning, we caught up with the senator. We wanted to ask you, though, if you would, uh, if you would be willing to ask a foreign country to dig up political dirt on Dennis, your opponent. The, the House is doing what they're doing. In the meantime, the Senate is doing our work in order to do what matters uh, for Arizonans. That's not the question. And that McSally is up for re-election next year and will likely face Democrat Mark Kelly in the general election. He issued a statement that said, of course, my campaign won't ask for or accept any assistance from a foreign government. That's an easy decision because it's against the law and it's against the oath Senator McSally and I both took to defend our Constitution and our democracy. As for what Arizona voters think about the impeachment inquiry, a recent poll shows that 50 percent of Arizona voters oppose it, while 44 percent are in favor. Should also note that same poll showed that Mr. Trump's approval ratings here are underwater. Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.